Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host, Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today, I'd like to show you how you can recall, save, and clear your MEMS on the TriCaster Flex Duals numpad. Now, MEMS allow you to store different setups for your main switcher and your mix effects, allowing you to quickly reconfigure them. And using the 10-key numpad allows you to quickly recall those MEMS as needed in a unique way to give you full control over your show. That means flexibility and speed. So, let me show you how it's done, son. All right, here we are. I am in the TriCaster 2 Elite interface, and I have my TriCaster Flex Duel here on my desk. Let's combine them and start playing around with MEMS. Okay. So uh, the first thing that I want to just kind of reiterate on the, what MEMS are is you, basically you have nine different sources over here, or nine different presets to choose from to where you can configure either your program uh, row or your, or your mix effects uh, so that you can quickly recall different setups. So for example, I have three of them here. And the first one I have lined up, you'll see that I have uh, mix one and mix effect two on my program preview. And then I just have a standard transition here. And if I go over to my second one, like so, I'm just going to use the interface for now. You'll see that it now changes from MixFact 2 to MixFact 3, and then changes my transition here to a uh, twirl. And if I go over to number 3 here, you'll see that it changes things uh, around again and has my transitions and my downstream keyer transition changes as well. So this is just basically some different configurations that you can do with this, okay? So let me go ahead and put it back to one. And now let's go ahead on my uh, TriCaster Flex Dual. Let me zoom into the portion of the control panel that we'll need to be make, uh, uh, playing with. So uh, there's uh, two things, first of all. So the, the first one is going to be, you need to determine which stripe that you want to control. And what I mean by that is if you want to control your uh, your main uh, mixer or if you want to do, say, your, your mix effects. So in this example, I'm going to click on Stripe here, like that. And then over here on the far left, kind of in the corner, is where I have main. So that now means that whatever I use on this row, this side of the, this stripe, uh, that is going to be assigned to whatever I have assigned here, okay? So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the numpad over here. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what I'll need to do is select mem, like so. All right. Now, currently, if I want to recall any of these, all I have to do is simply press the button to do so. So if I take a look at over the, on the interface, let me get back over here so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, if I click on one, well, I'm already on one right now. But if I click on two, check this out. Boom it pulls up my mem number two that I showed a second ago. And if I go to three, same thing, okay? Now, if I want to say save, uh, save this somewhere else, I can go up here and click save. And then let's say we'll put it on number nine, like so, and it is now saved on that. And if I take a look at the interface, you'll see now I have a, a place for number nine, okay? But let's say I wanna I, I get rid of it. I can say clear up here and press nine and it is gone. Ta-da, like magic. Okay, so that's on the uh, main uh, switcher row, but let's go ahead and take a look uh, at say, like using our mix effect. So let me open up my mix effect number, I think I have it set up on number seven here. Yep, here we go. All right, so uh, I have a couple of different uh, mem presets. I'm just doing three just for today's example, nothing fancy, right? All right, uh, so uh, this one here, I have it set up as a switcher. Uh, and then on my second one, it changes my sources plus that transition. And then the third one, that completely reconfigures my mix effect to where now it's a four layer set. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and pull this up on program two so you can kind of see what that looks like. There you go, that would help. All right, so uh, now when I switch between these, you'll see that they all kind of change configuration, et cetera. So you can completely reconfigure a, a mix effect to be for, go from uh, a switcher to a virtual set to another virtual set. You can have like a whole bunch of different virtual sets uh, stored inside of a, a mix effect simply by using these mems and just quickly recalling them, okay? So now what we'll do is I will go up on my uh, flex dual, we'll hit stripe, 
and then I'll select mix effect number seven since I'm that's the one I'm working on here. So you'll see that that reconfigures things a little bit on my control panel. And then now from here, uh, I basically do the same thing. So make sure I have mem selected. And then if I press number one, it brings up the configuration for my mem number one, two, same thing, three, same thing. Okay. And then again, if I want to clear it, let's go ahead and get rid of that one with the, all four of them on there. Get rid of that. And now it is no longer in my mems, but I actually want to keep that. So I'll hit save three and now that's back or put it wherever I want like this. So we go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so many mems to keep track of. Uh, but that gives you a good idea of what you can do with this. It's super powerful. Uh, so you can start to save the different uh, layouts of your, uh, your, uh, your main switcher row and also your mix effects and start to combine and stack things however you want. And easy to get to. You don't have to go through on the interface like I was showing you. You can do it all directly from the control panel itself. So super powerful stuff. Play around with it. And of course, have some fun. Woo! Hey, ain't that cool? You can do some really powerful things with the TriCaster Flex Dual, and I highly recommend checking it out. Now, you can find more information about the TriCaster Flex Dual and other VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner, or you can visit our website, VizRT.com. And you can find more tutorial videos like this one by subscribing to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash official. You can also get professional training with VizRT products by signing up for Viz University at vizrt.com slash community slash viz dash university. And if you're posting your work using VizRT products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're working on. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.